Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sweet Peach palette tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, I've already primed my, li my lids with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to take my first color and it is puree. You guys know that I pretty much use this in every Sweet Peach palette tutorial just because it's a really nice transitional color and even though it's a little bit more darker than your usual transition color, it really blends out really nicely. So I'm taking my Beauty Junkies blending brush and I'm buffing that in, making sure that there are no harsh lines. And then of course you want to repeat the same step on the next eye. I really just take my time and blend everything. This is a pink martini uh, blending brush. I really like it. And again, just taking up that Beauty Junkies um, blending brush and blending everything. I'm actually going to take Delectable and it is a gorgeous purple color. I'm applying that onto the crease. I originally wanted to go with a blown out smoky purple eye, but as I go, you know, just my imagination kind of takes off and it does whatever I want. So I was just kind of playing with the colors and just going along with the theme and whatever I had in my mind. So I'm just applying that on the, cor on the outer corner, blending it in, and I'm mostly concentrating that on the outer corners and bringing whatever is left onto the inner corners in windshield wiper motion. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit out of focus. I'm not sure why my camera wasn't focusing, so I apologize. Now I'm gonna talk. Now I'm gonna take talk derby to me, and it's a dark purple. A little goes such a long way, and I'm applying that mostly to the outer corners as well. I'm not gonna bring this in too much because I don't want it to be too intense and too smoky. And again, I'm taking that brush by Pink Martini, and I'm just blending those edges, buffing them out to make sure that there are no harsh lines. We definitely don't want any of that. Always take your time when blending because it'll just look so much better. Now I'm going to take Georgia. I had not used this color and I was blown away by it. It is so gorgeous. I really like how it just tied this look together and even though it's matte, it's very, very, very pigmented. I'm going to take Summer Yum and I'm going to apply that in between those colors just so I can have a little bit more of a pinky brownish tone going on in there and yeah, I really like how it looks. I'm going to take this pencil by LA Girl and it's in the color white. I'm applying that to the inner corners. Now I'm going to pick up Bellini and I'm going to apply it and honestly I'm going to pack it on. And it gives you just the most gorgeous pop of color onto the inner corners. As you can see, it's not too bright, but it's just it's the perfect amount. Now I'm going to take this gel pencil by LA Girl. I'm not sure of the name but I will have it listed down below and I'm going to apply it to the waterline and I'm going to smudge it to the lower lash line as well. I wanted a little bit more color so I went ahead and applied this um, eyeliner and I really like how it turned out. I'm going to go back into Delectable and I'm going to make sure that I smudge out that eyeliner. Again, I just want to make sure that I buff everything out and that I don't have any harsh lines. So just take your time if you're having a hard time with blending down there. That sounded weird. If you're having a hard time blending your lower lash line, just keep blending until you pretty much can't blend anymore. I'm going to go in with this lip liner again by the brand Italia and I believe this is in Mauve and I'm going to line my lips and fill them in as well. And then for my lipstick I wanted to go with a bright pink and this one is called Flirt I believe by Alley Girl Cosmetics. And that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.